Hello dear students. This video deals with the sound insulation. Basically, which type of sound insulation material we should use or what are the different sound insulating materials are available in market? This discussion will be there in this particular video. So let us start. Sound insulation. It is the process of soundproofing of enclosed space. This type of insulating activity is usually employed when there is a need to keep sound from flittering into or out of the space. It is necessary for preventing the unwanted sound transfer and for acoustic control. How to select the perfect material? Obviously, this will this is the most important question because there are number of insulating materials which are available in market. So, let us see which type of characteristics a material should possess while selecting it for sound insulation. Properties which determine the sound insulation capacity of any material are its amount of sound absorption, its weight, its air tightness. Now, along with these properties, one must check for following. Maintenance. Obviously, a material should have least maintenance or no maintenance. Its durability. A material should be durable availability so it should be available easily resistance to weathering conditions and fire it should be resistant to different weathering conditions it should be fire resistant it should be cost effective it should be affordable ease of application it should be applicable easily Aesthetics. It should be good and aesthetical appearance. So these fall, these are the properties which are necessary while selecting the perfect material for sound insulation. Sound insulation materials. So these are the sound insulation materials which are available in market, which are listed down over here. Glass wool or fiberglass wool, rock wool, glass insulation, mass loaded vinyl cork sound insulation, green glue, foam panels, gypsum plaster boards and thermocol. Fiberglass wool sheets. It is an insulating material made from fibers of glass arranged using a binder into a texture similar to wool. It consists of intertwined and flexible glass fibers. It helps in preventing air entry resulting in low density which can be varied through compression and binder content. It is used to insulate flat surfaces like cavity walls, ceiling tiles, curtain walls, piping, also in oven and refrigerators too. It is popularly used in insulating material due to its properties like high energy conservation and good sound insulation. It is widely used in process industries, residential building and air conditioning. So these are the pictures of fiberglass wool. Next is rock wool. Rock wool is a stone wool insulation product for use in interior wall partitions of residential wood and steel stud constructions. It is especially useful when superior fire resistance and acoustical performance are required. Less health risks during installation. Also, it is easier for installation. It's better for fire resistance. It is soundproof. So, these are the qualities of rock wool. Also, it is less harmful to the environment. Fiberglass offers an R value. R is nothing but the resistance value. For fiberglass, it is 2.2 to 2.7 per inch 
while rock wool has r value 3 to 3.3 per inch as high the r value much more the sound insulation rock wool can be more costly per bag but has a higher r value than fiberglass per inch making it a slightly better insulator than fiberglass rock wool so this is the rock wool it offers fire protection to the building and improved safety because it is made of rock that is fire resistant rock wool is a breathable material allowing moisture to escape from the construction this reduces the risk of mold mold is nothing but a type of fungus and bacterial growth on the inside of property so this is the rock wool glass insulation insulating glass is traditionally used as office used at office buildings hospitals hotels houses and those buildings where large amount of heating or cooling is required the places where humidity and temperature needs to be controlled insulated glass is best suited for them it is also used in airport control towers train windows etc we can improve the sound insulation of glass in different ways increasing the thickness of panel using laminated glass on its own or within an insulating glass unit which is known as igu larger the gap between panes better the insulation so here we can see the glasses there are two different glasses are there which are spaced apart a distance that is known as air space which is there due to spacers which are there uh, located at the below which has dissecant and below that the sill is provided insulated glass is a prefabricated unit made of two or more glass panes with aluminium or stainless steel spacers filled with the desiccant which are age sealed around with compound sealant normally the spacers width of insulated glass is 6 mm 9 mm 12 mm 15 mm 18 mm and so on mass loaded vinyl noise barrier is a super density rubber membrane produced with a engineered mixture of five types of rubbers and resins the noise barrier comes in a roll form can be easily installed on floors walls ceilings as a primary layer for sound insulation it can be used on floors or on walls and it is extremely durable pattern is smooth finish its features are its high density limb material to reduce noise transmission its applications are reduce noise transmission through ceilings walls floors machinery enclosures duct work it is applied over suspended ceilings on studs or joists its installation material can be nailed screwed stapled or can be reinforced and hung like a curtain so it is installed in various ways it is available in black and gray color so here we can see it is available in black or gray color and in second picture we can see that the compound wall or the fencing here in a black color is coated with the help of mass loaded vinyl cork sound insulation cork is made from the bark of cork oak tree the bark of tree is cleaned sized ground to powder form and then baked while it is being baked it uses natural resin this resin binds the powdered cork to form a slab or sheet when pressed or rolled cork sheets are available in market 
can be used for paneling. These can be coated with melamine, polished to reduce abrasion damages. The coating affects acoustic control marginally. Cork is a varied light material. It is porous, not affected by moisture. It is good sound insulator both for sound transfer and for acoustic effects. It is an electric insulator and also a heat insulator for temperatures below 70 degrees Celsius. So this is cork sound insulator. Next thermocol. Thermocol is a type of plastic and has good thermal insulation properties. It can also be molded to any desired shape in plastic molding machine. Thermocol tiles are used in false ceiling and as face tiles. It is very light and is not adequately strong. As we all know, it gets abraded with slight friction. Hence, for thermally insulated partitions, it is only a feeling material and not a surface material. Thermocol has good sound insulation properties from sound transfer point of view and from acoustic effects. It reflects sound so cannot be used on external surfaces as it may provide echo. So here we can see a man is placing the boards or sheets of thermocol on internal of a cavity wall, inside of a cavity wall. Next up, next is green glue. It is a viscoelastic damping compound which dampens the vibrations and in turn the sound. It is applied between two layers. Two layers of drywall or plywood. It is simplest, most effective, affordable soundproofing product currently on the market for any soundproofing project. Green glue can be used over any existing wall, floor or ceiling by simply adding another layer of material to reduce sound transfer. As its name gives us a hint about its nature. It is a glue which is used to paste different materials which provides sound insulation by sound damping. It is available in two forms. This is green glue tape and th these are the tubes in which the glue is there. Gypsum plaster, plaster board Gypsum contains calcium sulfate dihydrate which is CaSO4 to H2O. When added water to the plaster of Paris which is known as POP, it will reform into gypsum. Gypsum is a naturally occurring mineral whereas POP is manufactured. It is clean, much efficient and healthy with very less dust and untidiness as compared to POP false ceiling. Its advantages are Gypsum board includes its low cost, ease of installation and finishing, fire resistance, non-toxicity, sound attenuation and availability. Its disadvantages are difficulty in curved surface application, low durability when subject to damage from impact or abrasion. So in first picture we can see the sheets of gypsum plaster, plaster board. In second image its application is seen and in third image it is complete picture or complete ceiling of gypsum plaster board. Thank you.